Hi, my name is John Talley and I'm with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to be working with our 2007 Honda TRX 400EX. And what we're going to show you today is how to do a simple oil change. This particular unit has what they call a dry sump system, meaning that you have oil inside of the crankcase as well as the oil tank. Now to get things started, we just need to crank it up, let it idle for about two to three minutes, get everything circulating through the system, and then I'll walk you through the process of how to get it drained and refilled. All right, let's go. And welcome back. I've shut off the machine, and now I'm going to show you which tools we need to accomplish this task. It's a really short list. Only three sockets are necessary. We need an 8 millimeter to pull the oil filter cover. We need a 12 millimeter to drain the crankcase oil, and then a 14 millimeter to drain the oil out of the oil tank. All right, first things first, we need to get the oil out of this machine. Like I said, we need to get it out of the crankcase and the oil tank as well. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and at least loosen up the dipstick on the oil tank itself. Next, we want to go to the 12 millimeter on the crankcase and go ahead and take it off. I want to be careful not to drop the crush washer and get, lo get it lost. Otherwise, that would uh, make it leak. Next, while that's draining, we want to go ahead and pull the, uh, the drain bolt off the oil tank itself. Same scenario as the crankcase drain bolt. It has a crush washer, which we do not want to lose. While it's draining, then we'll go to the other side of the machine, show you how to remove the oil filter itself, and then we'll replace the two oil plugs, and then I'll show you how to refill it. All right, let's go ahead and get that oil filter out of there. For this one, you only need that eight millimeter socket. There's only two bolts holding it on. What you're gonna see on the other side of this cover is the oil filter itself, and then a spring on the other side of it. Don't be alarmed if a little bit of oil dribbles out when you pull the case. Warned you. There's our oil filter. And then tucked up inside there is our spring. Basically just want to leave it up on the case. All right, here comes the tricky part or where you need to take note. You can actually install this oil filter backwards and that would be catastrophic for the engine. But fortunately for us, printed right on the side, it says outside towards filter cover. That's what we want, facing toward the outside of the engine. So we make sure our spring is still up in there, lay in our filter, and then get our cover in. You can only put it back in one way because these two bolt holes are offset. So that'll tell you naturally which way it should go. Layer up on the case. And reinstall your eight millimeter bolts. It's a fairly small thread, so there's no sense getting carried away on your torque. Okay, with that finished, all we need to do now is put back our drain plugs. First, let's do the drain tank. That's the 14 millimeter. So you want to get it in there started, hand tight. No sense getting carried away on this, but that wants about 12 to 13 pounds. which my internal torque wrench says is right there. Next, we go to the 12 millimeter and do the crankcase. And roughly about the same amount of torque is needed for it. About right there. 
All right, with that finished, all we need to do now is refill it. Before we actually pour the oil into the machine, let's look at a couple of different lines of oils that Honda makes. First is the tried and true GN4 oil. It is your generic oil that you see in 90% of your vehicles, typically your work vehicles. Second, you go with the HP4M. Now this is an ultra high performance oil, typically only used in race conditions, particularly because it will get absorbed into the wet clutch plates and make them slip. So you better be ready to change those if you want to run this oil. Now the oil I prefer is the HP4. This is without molly, but is a synthetic blend that's designed to put up with extra heat and stress on a high performance engine. So this is the one we're going to go with. Now, with our oil filter replaced and both of our drain plugs in place, it's time to go ahead and refill. Now, the trick with this machine is that it has a 1.9 quart capacity, and the problem is we can't pour all of that in on the first go. So what we need to do is go and put one quart in, run it for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then add three quarters of the second quart, and then check it. So let's go ahead and get the dipstick out and get our first quart in. We can go ahead and fill it without fear of it overflowing. All right, and she's in. Go ahead and pop your dipstick back in. What we're going to do is start it up, let it idle for about 10 or 15 seconds. What it's doing now is actually pulling the oil out of the oil tank, into the engine, filling the voids where the oil filter is. That should be enough. Now what we want to do, pop the dipstick back out. Let's go ahead and grab our second quart. I wouldn't dump the whole thing in there because like I said, it holds 1.9 and the last thing you want to do is have to drain out some of your oil. So go ahead and add about three quarters of it. And what we're going to do is start it back up, let it run a good bit longer, probably around one to two minutes, shut it off, let it sit for two minutes, and then check the level. So we're going to start her up and we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so now she's sat for a couple of minutes. Let's take a look and see where we really are. All right, check it, we just pop it back in, don't screw it in, just pull it out. And we are about at the halfway point, which is good enough, but I prefer it to be at a little bit more toward the, uh, the upper level. So let's add just a tick more. Don't get carried away. Just to bring it up on the mark just a little bit more. That's what I want, about three quarters of the way up. Get your dipstick back in, snug down, no sense of getting carried away. And uh, once I take the oil to the recycler, we can call this done. If you have any other questions or if you need any of the products, come see us on partzilla.com and we'll get you taken care of. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.